everyone, it's Gidu, and in this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of Inuyasha's Nendoroid. Super excited. I have a new setup, sort of. You guys can let me know if you like it or not. Got little tables off of Kijiji that I bought used so that I could do a setup because my desk doesn't work anymore and I don't like doing stuff on my coffee table. Let us open the shipping box. So I apologize for not posting any videos recently. Shipping has been delayed and release dates have been delayed for some stuff. So it's been fun trying to get this stuff in. It's packaged like so. Here is his box. He is so cute. I'm very excited to have him. I used to love this show as a kid. I used to watch it back on, I think, Teletoon at night. Um, they're now re-releasing the whole series on Blu-ray, so I've been buying them as they come out, as I am quite, quite excited to re-watch all of it. I don't think I ever actually finished the full series because, um, as a kid I didn't really understand how, like, showing times worked, so what days it was on and whatever, I just kind of watched it whenever I seen it. So let's get him open. That's Adi as a sticker that says Shop Pro. I'm not sure what company that is, but... On the inside of his box, he has a little bit of detail there. Looks really nice. But I have so much room on these little tables I bought, and I'm very happy. Let me know if this is okay, if the lighting's okay. Um, I'm kind of just sitting on my floor in front of my bookshelves. So let me know if that's okay. So he has a bottom piano and a top on the bottom, we have all of his extra arm pieces, the base itself, which I will pull out in a second. On the front, of course, we have his face plates, him, his sword, a sheath sword, and his little sitting butt. So let's just pull it off here. Got this plastic. So these are all the extra arm pieces and leg pieces and the base. Standard base. So it comes with the extra neck piece as always. And it comes with one of the special stands, which actually goes underneath his hair because he has a lot of long hair, so that makes sense. He has little extra hands, they're little claws. <laughs> I love him so much, his little long nails. Oh, anyways, okay, let's, let's get him out next. So we have his angry face here. I am so sorry for not being able to focus up close. This camera does not do a good job at autofocus. Yeah, anyways. It's got that guy. We've got <laughs> his little surprised face. I don't remember if they announced Kagome as an android or not. I don't think they did. Maybe they did. I don't know. I can't remember. But I hope they do Kagome so that you can get her to yell and tell him to sit because that would be super cute. But they do have um one coming out for... Sashomaru. Here is Inuyasha himself. Inuyasha is so cute. Oh my. Look at him. So he got his little ears and his hair. I always, as a kid, I always wished he had a tail and I was like, why doesn't he have a tail? I don't understand. There's plastic there, plastic in between. Oh, it's a whole piece that's between his face plate and his neck. Bald Inuyasha. He's balding. So that's his like standard faceplate there inside his head. His head's so cute. His hair is so nice too. Let's put his head back on his body. His little bare feet. He is so cute. As always, I'll be doing a closer look of him. So I will link that in the description below if you want to see a better look of him posed. And I'll just kind of zoom in with a better, better um, view. I'm so happy to have him. I don't know how to pose him. I'm tempted to pose him sitting because I just thought it was super adorable. But he also has the poses with his like little claw hands. Like, look at this one. I think I have to do this one. He's so cute. And there's probably a bunch of pictures of him posed other ways. So I think I'm going to do that. Although I do love his pose with his sword. I just, I can't, he's just so cute. And I feel like he'll take up a little less space without the sword. And because I have so many figures at this point, I need to save space as much as possible. <laughs> Here is his sword. 
And here is the sheathed version, which I find really, really funny that it's so tiny when it's sheathed. I believe this pops off. Yeah, so the handle of the sheath pops off. Like if he has his sword out, you just have this on his hip. There's a little, um, there's a little bump there. So you pop that into his hip. So it looks like he actually has the sword out, which is really cool. Yeah, and then it's back when you don't have a sword out. So that's real nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's also the pose they have of him here, just like face planted, and it's so funny. And another thing that's kind of nice about posing them in the slightly more simple poses, like his sitting one, is he'll be easier to dust. You know what I mean? I have a ton of them that have a ton of little accessories out. And when you're dusting, oh my god, it's so irritating because the little pieces either fall and you have to like re-put them in. Or there's the worry of damaging them because you have to move them out of the, fig out of the case to dust them. Here's his little sitting bam. <laughs> and his little feet! <laughs> That's his little sitting bottom. I have to make him sitting. I have to make him sitting. And what is this? What is this? I have to check what this is. Something. I'm confused. You know, I'm going to be quite honest. The instructions are not helping me. <laughs> this is what it shows for that piece. It shows to take out the flat part, put the leg inside his leg joint, and then put take the foot off of this one and put it in that one so i guess it's just an extra leg joint but then i'm not quite sure why it has this piece right because it comes out why is this here why is why why i don't know anyways that's a thing that's a little weird so far i can't handle it these little clawed hands are so cute and i wish i i'm like tempted to put him with them but i'm can i'm gonna put him sitting but the little clawed hands, you can't really see them, but they have little long nails. I wish my phone would properly show them, but it doesn't. So what I want to do first, swap his face plates out. But I'm going to put his little surprised face in. He looks so stupid. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see what he looks like, pose like this closer up. Um, check out the link in the description below. I'll also throw it in the card, I guess, because I guess I can do that and I never use cards because I'm dumb. But yeah, look in the card or the description below. I'll put it in both. Take his little legs out, pull his little, his little, little arm fell out. Wow, this arm has to come out anyways. <laughs> he has no arms yet, but look at his little cross legs. We will get his no hands sleeves. Look at this little bean. Ah! Ah, he's so cute. Please focus on him and not me. Focus on him, camera. Is it focusing? No? Look how cute he is. Oh my god, I'm so excited. He's adorable. That is how I'm going to have him. Um, I guess you don't need his base because it won't even fit with him when he's sitting, I'm pretty sure, because he's too close to the ground. Um, but you don't really need it, I guess, because he kind of chills like this. He is so cute. I love him to death. I'm very happy. I can't wait to take pictures of him. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much everything that comes in his box. I don't know if you guys really need to see all of his extra arms. It's hard for me to show with this camera anyways, but he does come with extra arms for the different poses. Although I think that's less important. I don't know. Let me know if that is something that you really want to see, like you want to see every single piece. Um, I'd prefer no because then it saves me time, <laughs> but like, you know, let me know. We'll talk about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out, uh, his closer look in the description below and in the top card or top card. I don't know what direction it's in. Um, one of those you can, you can, I know, I don't know if this films backwards or not, so it might be this way. Uh, whatever. That's the bean. That's his box. What everything looks like and how it's packaged and whatnot let me know what you think of the new setup if it's good if it's bad i don't know let me know i will link all of my social media in the description below along with my affiliate links to cd japan and tokyo talk mode you can get figures like this 
or other products, whatever. And I get a small commission if you purchase anything through those links. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, especially right now. Like at least you're still getting something if you can afford it. But then it also helps support me and my channel. So thank you guys a lot. I really appreciate it. Oh, I made an Instagram again. Come follow me on there if you have an Instagram and you're set. I don't post like a ton, a ton, but I'm going to be posting more hopefully and i'm going to be posting stuff on my story and whatnot i'm also redecorating my room which is why i haven't done a room tour for 2020 yet that will be coming but because i'm in the middle of redecorating my room things are going on and i'm i'm in the process and stuff isn't done yet so it will come eventually but i'm doing some small updates on instagram if you're interested in that you can check that out i post some stuff on my stories and whatnot so yeah do that do that do that okay cool <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye